All right, so I'm reading a lot. I'm seeing in the news about dudes uh, not coping with rejection too well, you know? Uh, baby fathers shooting up, you know, their baby mothers, the, the, the baby mother's current boyfriends. Dudes are not coping too well with this rejection thing. All right, so I just want to say motivation, just to give, you know, if anybody out there hearing me, you know, uh, just for some inspiration, some motivation. Listen, I'm going through that. I'm in the midst of that. Think of that. And uh, let me tell you something. When a woman is has lost all respect for you, it's a tough pill to swallow, fellas. I'm 43 in two days. Grown, grown man. When a woman, especially the mother of your child, have lost all respect for you, and she has, in her mind, reduced you to a beta male, it's a tough pill to swallow, fellas. Trust me. It is a it is a blow to the ego. It is a harsh blow to your ego. It is. It, it is a, a damaging blow to your pride, to your manhood, to your ego. It it's it's a tough pill to swallow when a woman, the woman that mothered your child has lost all respect for you. And uh you can feel it. You can feel the rebellious spirit that's on her you can feel the uh unruly energy from her you can feel the opposition from her you can feel the total rejection of you from her and when we feel that rejection energy that the rebellious that opposition that you know total non-cooperation total non-submissive just complete open rebellion against you we become violent not all but a lot of us most not all of us but most of us again not all but most not all but most again not all but a lot and i want to say to those who's going through something similar like myself you're gonna feel inferior you know it does do that to you it's going to make you question all con all i mean look we confront and act like we tough and we don't feel nothing and Blah, 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 blah. It's all nonsense, all right? I don't care how much money you got. I don't care how big your dick is. I don't care. If your woman completely rejects you and goes from being cooperative with you to open rebellion against you to uh, where you can't even talk to her anymore. You can't even have a communication with her anymore because every time you try to communicate, she over-talks you. And, you know, you can't over-talk a woman. You can't win in an argument. You can't. So when a woman completely just uh, over-talks you, steamroll you and in, in when you try to communicate with her that is the ultimate sign that she has zero respect for you and like i said i'm dealing with that because i want i still want to be in my child's life so i got that's something i got to deal with a, a woman who has zero respect for me and it's 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 a tough pill to swallow and it's a tough realization that that you got to accept that that in her mind you're you're in beta status in her mind you are you're not a man. You're like she doesn't respect you. You get what I'm saying? She she has not bowed down. She has not submitted. She has not. There is no. She's not following you. You're not her leader. You're not her head. Whatever terms you want to use. She's just total open opposition. Just completely opposed to every and anything about you. Like everything about you, you can feel her opposition. Again, fellas, as a man going through it, I'm telling you right now, it is the worst feeling in the world. It makes you question every single thing about yourself. It affects and impacts your psyche. It, it, it affects and impacts everything you do. And if you are not, if you're not solid, if you're not solid on the inside, we're going to see what we see in the news every day. Brothers shooting, killing their, their baby mothers, their ex-girlfriends fighting their uh, current, the ex their ex-girlfriend, current boyfriends. I mean, this week alone, uh, last week alone, I saw maybe two or three different uh, situations like that. You know, on the internet, wherever. Uh, in the news. So, if there's anybody out there, listen, I'm going through it. Right? I'm experiencing it real time. I was just in family court Friday. Right? And all I can say is, yeah, listen. How I cope with it is... Again, it's a tough. It's a, it, it, it. It bothers me. I wrestle with it. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna say it, act like I'm Superman. I struggle with it, knowing that a woman who you was with have your child is just now completely like has zero respect for you. 
and you start questioning yourself, what did you do wrong? What, what, where did you go wrong? What was, you know, you question your leadership abilities, you, you question everything about yourself, you start to question. It's a natural thing. But how I cope, and I use the word cope intentionally because that's all you can do is cope with it. How I cope is one, I have faith in God, right? I know who I am in the eyes of, in the eyes of the Lord. Like I have a real serious relationship with my God, the God of Israel, right? Not just any God, but the God of Israel, the one true living God, the El Shaddai, the Elohim, Yahweh, Yahshua. Like I have a real relationship. I believe in Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Like I have a real solid relationship. That's number one. Number two, I run. <laughs> like y'all see my videos. I'm always jogging. I'm always just running around the whole city somewhere. Like I'm just running. Upstate, running, wherever, just running, right? And I do that because obviously it's for your cardio, your health, and you keep you taking care of yourself, but also it's great for your mind. It's a great way to relieve stress. It's a great way to take your mind off of your tri your, your trials, your troubles, and your problems, and just get out there on the, on, the, on the tarmac and just run, and just run, run, just run, and release it all. So that's, that's two. Three, I know who I am. You know what I'm saying? I know who I am deep, 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 way, to, way deep, deep down in my gut, way down in my gut, I know who I am. You understand? So irrespective of what a woman or, or anybody thinks of me or, you know, how they interact with me at the end of the day, your assessment of me does not define me. You get what I'm saying? It does not define me. Your assessment of me is exactly that. Your assessment of me, right? So, and I all and four, I also know that the woman who's for me, she's gonna respect me. She's gonna somebody out there was gonna respect me. Cause I respect myself and you know I I, I carry myself with, with certain dignities and integrity. So I know somebody out there will respect me. Unfortunately, it's not you. So you got this how you this how you gotta think. There is somebody out there that will respect you. There is somebody out there that will cooperate, that will be, you know, feminine with you and not give you masculine matching your energy. There's somebody out there that'll do that. So I always think like that, listen, you know what, this is, you, you know, you got to have that solid, like, yo, I know who I am, I know my value, I know my worth, I know my manhood is intact, I'm, I'm solid on the inside, I'm confident within myself, yes, again, none of us are, we all flawed, but irrespective of all my flaws, including my flaws, I'm also aware of my strengths, my perfections, I know, I, you know, like, you got to know who you are, and, and you got to love yourself. Like, I have a, a, a narcissistic kind of love for me. Like, I love me so freaking much. Like, I'm so fly. I'm so dope. I'm such an ill dude. Like, I don't need to tell anybody. I am that. I'm just that. I am. You dig? Like, I'm that guy to myself. Not to you or to world or anybody else. This is all about self-love. You've got to love yourself, care for yourself, and no matter what a woman say about you, whether she want to be cooperative or rebellious, you got to know deep in your heart who you are. You got to have self-love, self-care, and have your purpose in this world, have, have your goals, know where you're going, and understand not everybody that comes into your life is there for a lifetime. Not everybody that, some people come into your life just to teach you a lesson. So, fellas, rejection, I get it. It's a blow to your ego. But learn to sit in discomfort. Learn to sit in your misery. Learn to sit in your unhappiness. Learn to sit in it. Sit in discomfort. Be alone. Sit in it. And it will come to you. Till next time. Peace.